That's right. <laughs> Welcome back to Red Wine it wouldn't, and Mint. It wouldn't be a new year it, it, without some barking. <laughs> that's right. Oh, we're so glad to be back, you guys. It's been a long time. And I think that we're, we're, we have we have sound. We actually have sound. Look today. at that, how prepared uh, we were. Well, we have, yeah. we have, we see that we have audio. <laughs> she was, I, what is she doing? Don't, don't touch know. the buttons. It was this one. Don't touch the buttons. <laughs> oh. Audio guy. She's over there pushing buttons. But I want to touch buttons and I want to make sounds too. Anyways, Anyways. happy new year, happy everybody. New year. We brought out back out our festive stuff. Welcome to 2022. It is the year of the triple twos. The triple twos, right? So triple if two it's two. even, it must be a good year, right? Because, <laughs> because obviously, uh, it, well, I say that, but then 2020, 2020, bad, 2020 right? did not work out it so well. The new roaring 20s were... Didn't work out. Yeah, that was only happy for about three months. Yeah, for about three months. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. I had my birthday in January of that year, and it was awesome. And then just two and a half months later, it was just crash and burn. Two months later, almost exactly two months later, it was crash and burn. Well, I know that we've been gone for a little bit. Yeah, so um, we... There was some things that happened, not COVID-related. Not COVID-related. Um, it was basically, we got busy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was down to the last yeah. little bit of the time where I got super super school. uber uber busy with school and graduated in October. Yay me! Yeah. Um, so that made me to where I'm more freed up because every Saturday that we were doing this, I uh, guarantee what was happening is I was working on school before I came on and she would pull me out of the office and come over here and do this. Yeah, and then I would have to go back into the office into the cave. And actually continue to do some work. Yeah. So that was my life for like almost two and, two and a half, half years. years. Two and a half years. So yeah. it was no long more. Long Yay. I'll do it again. Yay! So now it's like I need to roll up in here and we get to do this. Um, new yeah, year. New year. Beginning year. So um, we're brought back by popular demand because we kept getting some things saying, where are you guys at? I know, right? People were And asking, we want you, you guys... to continue to do this. So, so thank you very much for that, by the way. For thank our, you guys so much. For our loyal audience out there, we are back. Yay! And to and bring this ready. in, we're going to bring it in with one of the eight, um, what, what, one of Jody's uh, favorite uh Well, I like bands. Dave Matthews. <laughs> favorite band um, that we went to, I took her to uh, a date. Was it the only Dave Matthews concert you've been to? Yes. Yeah, the only Dave Matthews. It's She's been time. a fan for like, Every other day, twenty-five years. And I, I was the one who took it to her first Dave Matthews live yeah. concert. I don't know how that happened. But. And there, they had the um, Dave Matthews wine that she had also never tasted before either. Um, so to bring that into the new year, we decided, well, let's just go ahead and just make this like let's start off with Dave Matthews. Yes. Yeah. Well, I happened to find it in the store, and I was like, oh, I haven't had this one. So, so we do have the wine. I'm gonna go ahead and put the picture up so you can see it, but. Um, let's see. Do I have it up here? Right it is... Oh, we didn't tell him about the charcuterie tray. Oh, we could do that first. Let's Before we actually talk about Dave Matthews, Dave Matthews can wait because we we're going to talk about the food spread. So we let... added a little bit, I think. Yeah. So okay. here we are. We're going to show this our This is our charcuterie actual tray. charcuterie tray today. And if you'll see right up in the very top right of your screen, they look like albino strawberries. Yeah, those are not... Um, Those are new. They're, they're not like, oh my gosh, why do you got strawberries that are not even ripe? They're not even ripe. You're getting non-ripe strawberries. These are berries de blanc, or actually called pine berries, and we have not tasted them yet. We are waiting. Yeah. To, so uh, you're going to gonna see. Them. You're going to see our reaction when to we eat those. Berries, yes. So, so um, you're going to see like, just like we do the wine, pineapple just like I do with the wine, you're going to see that reaction. We, we don't even know what they taste like. These uh, these pine berries uh, come from Plant City, which is not too far from where Denny is from. I grew up around Plant City. Yes. Um, and every year that they still have, every year they have what they call the Strawberry, Strawberry Festival. Festival. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of fitting that they actually did these particular type of um, grapes. I'm not grapes. I'm saying grapes. I'm thinking ah, like wine. The strawberries. Yeah. Strawberries um, is because you know they're like the the kingpins on strawberries. On strawberries. So these are supposed to have like the the same flavor as a strawberry with coupled with like some of the sweetness and flavor of a pineapple. So I'm excited to try that. I'm really excited. Oh, go back to the charcuterie tray for just a second oh, and, because and, there's something else on there too. Well, and just a little bit other thing that we learned about these strawberries. So you know how the regular strawberries usually have like sort of the black seeds on the outside? 
Well, this is reversed. So they have the white, white you know, texture with the red, red seeds. seeds. The red seeds. seeds. Red. That's how you know so, that you have that particular type. And it's not cool. just not just a ripe, um, a non-ripe non strawberry. strawberry. All right. So up at the top left of your corner, you'll see a little bowl of multicolored uh, uh, olives. Um, I got those from my mom this year at Christmas time. She gave say, me a say jar. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Yeah. And uh, these are Italian olives. So I have not tried these yet, and this is my first time opening the jar. So I'm excited about having those. The other ones are just Denny's regular, you know, pimento Spanish olives. They are awesome. <laughs> so yes, I like all the other olives. So you know, it, it is what it is. So we're we're excited about that. But then for bringing us to Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews, yay. So this is Dreaming Tree Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, the 2020 vintage. So um, I think, I can't remember if we tried the 2019 one, but this one is a Chilean wine yeah. that, um, that we're, we're going to be tasting here today. So did you read up on it? Does he actually have like a vineyard in Chile? No, 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 no. Or did um, he just get this? Like from no, them. okay, so, so what's like, the story? Of okay, that? so Dave Matthew started uh, Dreaming Tree Vineyard, a uh, winery, I should say, with um, Steve Sean McKenzie, who's the actual winemaker. And what they do is they get the grapes from Chile, okay, and then they uh, they make their um, their stuff. Well, it oh, says, and by the way, good. look, it's an, actually imported from Chile, okay, so he must have gone. And also, if you notice on there, you can go to dreamingtreewines.com. So you know how like we always sit there and say that if you want to drink with us and if you want to prepare for this one, um, well, it's kind of already going on now. Too but late. If, you, if you replay it, <laughs> if you replay this, right, and you want to do this in the replay, then just go to the, you can either go to your store because a lot of times most of the stores oh, so will have the these. these stores, yeah. But they also have a, uh, a dot .com that will tell a little bit about the wines. And of course, if you're not a Dave Matthews fan. That's um, okay. You don't have to that's be. That's okay. You don't have to be. You um, can just like the wine. But what just know it? if you know of Dave Matthews that he has a one, you know, he has a winery. He's a wine. Yeah, he so. partly he owns the winery um, with this guy Sean McKenzie, who's the actual winemaker who makes all the lovely wines. Um, and I, I really like the labels on these because they're just like this real fun artwork. I think did he do all of those? I don't even. I don't know. I don't know. I should probably look. Um, so we being can talk a Jew, about... being the Dave Matthews fan, should be understanding this beforehand. Yeah. Sure. All right, so um, why I, I'm opening this up, I think Jody's going to actually talk about what it is about. I did pull up some tasting notes from online, and you know you can read the the label itself. It'll tell you that it's got like some notes of blackberry, uh, dark cherry, dark chocolate, and like oak flavors, which is pretty typical of any Cabernet. Oh, and by the way, Denny and I have been doing a. Um, a wine class with James Suckling in the master class uh, platform, which is really kind of cool. We've been learning. Did they even give this one a grade? I don't think they give this one a grade. This one doesn't have a grade on no. it. Um, so I don't know. But James Suckling does do the grading, the one through a hundred grading system. And he was talking about corks. And hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Yeah, he was talking about corks. Is that an actual cork or is it a foam cork? Or uh, we'll find out in a minute. It's a real cork. Oh, that's a real one. It's a real cork. So. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, and we've talked about this here on, on our... Uh, oh, well, too. actually, they talked about corks, and they corks. talked about... Um, uh, Twisty cats. Twi okay, before you get into that, let's get into these tasting notes real quick. So, it is saying that um, the Dreaming Tree Cabernet Sa uh, Sauvignon uh, red, red wine is part of the exciting collaboration between musician Dave Matthews and winemaker, like she said, Sean, Sean McKenzie. McKenzie. Has a good rhythm in its aromas and, and flavors, flavors, resulting in an easy drinking cap... Cab, basically. Cabernet. Um, mm -hmm. And then it's lots of character. Uh, let's see. Blackberry, the... plum, yep. cassis, wrapped in rich flavors of toasted caramel, caramel. and dark I'm chocolate. I'm looking for the caramel on this one. This delicious red wine is dark right chocolate. for your dinner table. I know. I already got dark chocolate type taste in it. Why do you think I always Age like for it? 18 months. 18 months in oak barrels, which yeah. is going to give it that oaky flavor, which we already talked about a little bit. So, so there's there a little go. bit about that. Um, like I said, go into the dreamingtree.com. Um, is that what it is? Is it what yeah, it says? DreamingTreeWines.com. DreamingTreeWines. DreamingTreeWines.com, and they'll give you a little, a little bit more. All right, so let's go back to the corks. Yeah, the corks. All right, so this one is an actual, you know, um, old-fashioned cork. Yeah, made from okay. cork. Okay, you cork may tree. have seen some other corks that are like sort of plasticky looking, more the, wax. I think they're kind of more foam, like foam. 
So, so those are new. Yeah. Or, we learned say. that um, that these things, the old-fashioned ways, can tend to... Um, Lead to more oxidation and right. damaging of the wines. Could, could do some certain damages on wines. And we learned how to see that kind of thing. Because right. when you're talking about a red wine, when you see hints of red color in... In the glass, once you pour it into the glass, you start looking at the color of it. If you see brown, you're going to see probably, <laughs> you're going to think, well, you should start to think maybe there's a little bit of oxygenation that's happened. And oxygenation basically means that uh, the seal didn't hold quite as true as it should and oxygen got into the wine too soon. So, Hence why they are trying to go towards the more uh, new wave type new. one. Because you see, here, here we are. We are now... We're not in the, the 1600s anymore. Um, we now can actually have more innovative ways to cork up a bottle. And he says he's actually sort of um, on the fence with whether you use a cork or whether you use a screw top. Twisty tops. He actually gives a little bit more um, explanation saying that the twisty part is only is, is good for if it's going to be if it's going to be a short wine. And what yeah. do you mean by short wine? Young wines. You, yeah, you're, you're just going to drink now, yeah, right? You're right not now. going not to saving it. save it for years on end, right? Right? Then, yeah, twisties are probably totally fine. A, a great Absolutely thing. Fine. They're just they're they're no like what people are sort of saying. Um, I think we've had this conversation when we used to do a blog. What's the difference? You know, oh, that's a twisty. Oh, that's a cork wine. Yeah. Uh, go buy the wine. Just go buy the wine. Go buy the wine first. Yeah. Um, because the fact is that um, can't tell by the twisty. It could anymore. be just ready to drink. Yeah. That's what it comes down Not to. Not meant to say for 20 years. Yeah. There is wines that are meant to get better through age. That is a correct thing. But not all of them. But and not most all of the time, wines that's not what we're are drinking. created to, for aging. Yeah. Not, not all. Especially when we talk about whites. You already know that. You know, yeah. it, whites are not made for aging. Not usually. Yeah. So, so with that being said, Denny, you is got that the like wine champagne? open. So how does champagne work with that? Because sometimes champagnes have certain vintages, right? Yeah. They do. So how does that really work? Is it just because and, of the bubbles? And, and, well, and here's the other thing too. Well, yeah, because of the bubbles. You don't want to keep it too Because it's like preserved. Well, well, that and, and yeah, and sulfites. Mm -hmm. So there's sulfites in there to kind of help preserve it. But um, with uh, the years, you got to look at the years. And, and this is something that, you know, people like me that just drink wine, I don't pay attention to what the weather was like that year. Yeah. And oh. that's what the difference really yeah. comes down to. Because certain vintages... Like they may have had better weather that year. Right. They may have had a wet season. They may have had a hot season. And it's gonna it's gonna make the flavor of the grapes different. Now that's us getting pretty nerdy for a minute. Totally nerdy for but a minute. But <laughs> that was something that we learned on this master class. You know, the master class um, that we paid for for this coming year. Yeah, we were gonna do it, but we decided no. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna yeah. Go right I'm really glad we did. But though. the oh thing God. about what we're learning with that is you know, and, and I you know. In the end of the day, it's really just uh, you being able to just drink a wine. You don't have to necessarily know every little bit of history about it. But it's kind of cool to understand <laughs> that, um, you know, certain seasons, some some seasons were hot, some seasons were cooler, some seasons were uh, had a lot more, you know, different uh, weather patterns, more rain, more water, less water. Yes. Um, it affects the flavor of the right. grape. So some years taste better than others because of... Matt. Okay, we're going to get so, into what she was just doing a minute later. <laughs> no, we're not. Um, <laughs> she made something more so. All uh, right. But um, we'll get but into that. my glass is ready, and it's empty. All right, it so empty wine ready. glasses are no good on this show. No good. It's been 13, 14 minutes already. Oh, you know what? Do we not have my... Uh, where's, it's in here somewhere. Where's my sound? It's the, do we have my sound yeah, here? Yeah, it's at the but very it's bottom. It's not on one of my shorts. It's in the very bottom, though. I it's can do it. It's not one of my shorts. Right there. See it? right there. Oh, it's 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 G. Is oh, that G? Right. Yeah. Okay, stop. Stop. Not yet. All right, All right. So it's G. All right. Ready? Yes. Look at that. All right. Look at that. All right. Hold mine. All right. I'm holding yours. Ready? There we go. There you go. Look at that. Okay. All right. So I'm um, looking at the color. Of the All right. So now, look. something. That's, okay. Learn to live, man. Um, one of the things he said not to do is don't do this. Don't yeah. hold it up to the light. Yeah. <laughs> you can't so see anything. He says more or less like looking at it like this way, like you're looking at it forward. And wise. of course, you got to like spin it around in the 
And hey, you're looking like the dark colors. All right, so like, we're just, this is all our nerdy stuff that we're learning. We're just learning cool things. And, and this all right, is so like obviously the reason aroma. why you spool it around like this is because you're giving it some oxygen so you can smell it. Woo! That's got a lot of really nice mm, berry it flavors. It does smell sweet. It smells very fruity. But I can smell that that oaky smell, that oaky flavor. Can you smell that in the, in the that heavier end of it? Not really, but I smell a lot of sweetness. Ugh, but I I'm smell that, that acidity. It's like a blackberry type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some there. blackberry flavor in there. I wonder if the chocolate, the dark chocolate, makes it more the. That's probably something you're gonna darky, taste on the back end. Darker flavor type thing, maybe. Or... <laughs> All right, are you ready to try? All right, first of the new year. Cheers, everybody. Here's you, Dave. Here's you, Dave. Wow. It's got some tannins and it's got some acidity in it. Hmm. It's hmm. still very fruit forward. I taste that oak. I taste the vanilla. Did you smell that sweet vanilla smell? No. You didn't smell it? Mm -hmm. Try again. Try to swirl it around a little bit more. And then I think there's a lot of black it. blackberry taste. And and uh, plum? Yeah. Very plummy. Tastes like a, uh, a good cab. It does taste like a very nice little cab. It's kind of got... I think it's a little bit um, more... Uh, acidic than I prefer, but I'm okay with it. It's not the first terrible. sip is a little strong. At first, yeah. Second, right. first uh, sip is more more. It's more like uh, light. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, so I'm ready to try one of these things. So we've been waiting to try these. So I'm gonna mm. do that right now. And the bad thing and is we're, we're, we're trying it with wine. We should try it by itself. We should. I'm gonna try it by itself. But I'm gonna try it right now. It does taste like a strawberry. It's so weird, right? I know, right? It's so weird. Huh. Like, you would think not to eat this. Like, don't eat that. That's a nice, it's nice combination. Tartar. A little bit tart. Um, I but you know, they did say that it sort of has like a, a sort, sort of has like a, a pineapple taste to it. It does have a little bit. It's just a little hint of it. You don't mm. get a whole lot of it. I'm going to actually have a real strawberry now. I'm going to do it with the... Mm-hmm. It's good. Oh, you know what that made it taste like? For a fraction of a minute? What? Like an apple. Oh, I can kind of get that. It was like it's really good. With it was like a like I bit into an apple with the combination with the, with the wine. Yeah, I want to actually try this wine with a darker berry you now. You can get the rest of this one. You can have it if you, you want. The rest one. I want to try it with a blackberry. That's a really cute little blackberry. That's a sweet blackberry. It's actually kind of crunchy too. Maybe it's not quite as ripe as it should be. All right, so we're on mm. the sweet side. I'm going yeah, for raspberry. I like that. I like that. That was really nice. It uh, was a really nicely balanced um, flavor sensation in my mouth. I liked it. I'm going for a grape. Raspberry complements this pretty well mm -hmm. because it does have that blackberry taste in it. Mm -hmm. So it's very complimentary with that. Try with the blackberry then. Oh, that yeah, grape well, was really sweet. exactly go with that one, right? Mm -hmm. So exactly go with that. And it does. Wow. That sweet grape. Kind of brought out that acidic flavor and uh oh yeah it fits right in it like it sits right it's in very complimentary they're they're like they match which is great all right sorry one of these grapes the grape is sweet and it brings out that kind of the sting of the acid I, to, to me anyway a little bit i shouldn't tell you what i think <laughs> well you know it um i think it sort of competes yeah it it, it well, I think it's kind of a yin and yang kind of thing, right? So it's it's not so much competing as it's just they're balancing each other out. I think out. they're trying to struggle with each other. Mm, you think that, huh? Mm -hmm. Chocolate. I'm doing chocolate. You know it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. 
What are you trying to do? I like it to be on the screen. What? Oh, we got someone watching? Mm -hmm. Who's watching? I'm not sure. They have not said. One watcher. Hi, Hi watcher. <laughs> I'm watching. All mom. right, so listen. That chocolate and this wine are extremely well suited. I love it. I'm going to try. We've got this herb crusted um, salami today. And I'm going to go with that. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Let me see. I'm going to put the cracker. With we this. got crackers today. So. Oh, that's really nice. That goes together really nice. That salty, oily flavor from mm -hmm. the salami tastes so good with uh, the acidity of that wine just kind of cutting through it. It's really, really good. You could definitely gain like some, um, some meats with this one. Mm. I'm going to try a cracker with the, my camembert that I have out here on this tree today. All of time. All of time for you. I'm going to have some camembert on this cracker and go into town. Mm. It's going to not work out. Mm. What? There's a lot of stuff going on in my mouth. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. It didn't, mm. it didn't like totally throw me back or anything. Mm. I'm going to do the cheese, not the other cheese. Here, you eat that one. I'm going to okay. this one. Wow. Ooh. I did not like that. Wow. Gouda. Gouda. Mm. Okay. So, with the camembert, that aftertaste that comes with the camembert clashed. The Gouda is good. Really, really badly gonna bring your, with the bring camembert. Charge. Okay. Charge it more. Gotta hit it again. <laughs> hit it again. There you go. Ooh, I need the little. Wipe. I know it needs a bow tie. It needs a wipey on it. it. Needs a bow tie. All right, so now I'm gonna go with the smoked gouda. Hopefully, this one tastes better. It was pretty than good. One. It was pretty good. In my mind, it was pretty good. I don't mm. know about these. What are these? Are they pitted? Hmm, I don't know actually. They're Italian olives. Oh no. They have pigeon. Um, they do? Mm. Excuse me. Hmm. I don't think I like it with the cheese. I'm gonna put the rest of my cheese down. I don't want that. Alright. Alright, I'm, right, I'm gonna go with the, the olive Pineapple. now that you were talking about before. Oh yeah, there's a pit in there. There's a pit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> that pineapple's sweet. Mm. Good. Wow, those olives taste interesting, don't they? Ah, so the pineapple in this one, mm. mainly because of the pineapple. But it reminds me of a tropical drink. So eat the pineapple That's pretty and then put the wine in your mouth. And it's like a tropical drink. All right. It's like you're, I it's like I you're, like it with the it's like you're on an island. Ah, I've got this weird bitter... Look. Taste in the it's back like, of my it's mouth. It's like you're on an island. Take, take a bite of that. I'm going to have to clear uh, my palate now. Yeah, take a pet, t bite of that. And then go to go to your direct to that. Mm, go direct to that. Good. Hurry, hurry. It's really good. And then it's like you had a tropical drink in your mouth. All right, I'm going to do that again. Yeah, it's like a tropical <laughs> drink, right? <laughs> well, it's like you're like on the island okay, somewhere. Okay, I got to tell you, the olives and the cheese put a really bizarre... Aftertaste in the back of my mouth. That was really harsh. It you was super bang on here. Uh uh. Mmm. Nice tropical taste. It's almost like sangria. All right, I can kind of feel that. It's like sangria. Sangria. Well, Denny, we've pretty much done our blueberries thing. are on here. Yes, they are. All blueberry in here. Blueberries on here. We're about to the point now where we have to. Uh... Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> Some of them aren't quite as sweet as others, I guess. Some of them are. A little oh, bit and that made that one really. Oh. oh. That one was much sweeter. Oh, it's still tart though. Ooh. Oh. It's good though. Yes, we are. That was nice. We are 25 minutes in. 25 minutes in. We got to do our uh, whole thing where we, like, you know, determine our. Yes. Score. Well, so if you have not 
forgotten how we do ours. Or you have ours. forgotten. <laughs> um, we are not doing like uh, the, the wine experts where we do the, the 98 degrees. Uh, Sasha, this is not for you. No, ma'am. This is not your time. Um, oh, thank you. We're not doing the... Girl. Get down, girl. <laughs> we're not doing like the 98... No, we're not doing the James like Suckling score. No, we're, we're not, not doing the We're not experts score. like that. No. We're simplistic. We are very easy. Ooh, expert. Oh. <laughs> um, and then we're doing like the, basically the... The 10 point scale. The 10 point scale. Yeah. All right, so even though number one is like, you're number one. <laughs> it's not. It's it's not that it's one. It's not at um, all. No. One is uh, no, don't do not a good wine. Yeah. Anything one to three, like, mm, not a just good wine. life's too short for a shitty wine. Don't drink the shitty wine. Just don't. Yeah. Um, five is five six is like is, middle of the road. Great, it's, like, yeah. it's, it's 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 good. It's it wedding works. wine. You it know works. what I mean? It's I mean, the, it, the kind of wine that you buy it's not, and give out for free. To it's all not your, it's not fireworks, fireworks but it's it fireworks. works. Especially free. If it's free, drink it and have a nice time. It'll be all right. When you move on up to the eight, nine, seven, and ten area, eight. so seven eight's pretty good. Like yeah. yeah, if you got that one, you'd be all right with it. Be good. Then so we have our tens. Nines, eight, tens are, ten, eight, nine, tens and ten are good. Are, are the ones you probably will buy again. Ten, tens are like drink all the time. Yeah, if you get a ten. Um, and then of course you have our unicorns. Unicorns. E eleven. Denny thinks unicorns exist, <laughs> and he's had a couple of them yeah. in his scoring. I disagreed on at least. Yeah, I don't. I haven't given out an eleven. How many elevens have you given out at this point? I can't remember. We have to. Probably if you track it, probably back. go back and look at it. Huh. We might have to try to st start our scoreboard. I agree with that. We should probably put a scoreboard. So, anyways, now here we are. We're about to go ahead and do our little. Da -da -da -da. We're gonna use our little marker and our little card, and we're gonna score without influencing each other. Did you pull up our scoring music? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. All right, I have the scoring music. Let's go All ahead right, and take get one ready. more list. All right, one, one more, more sip before more. we score. Here we go. I'm ready. Let's do this. Mm. Let's see if I can get this in my head of what I want to put as this. Mm. Okay. Where's that music at? All right. Three, two, one, go! That's not it! Oh, that's 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 the reveal. <laughs> exactly, that's the reveal. That's the reveal. Um, it's the is it the drum break? I believe it is. Is it the drum break? See that one. Yeah. I'm ready. Look at that. I write faster. I think he's probably coloring. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm do? ready. You what ready? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Do it. You ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yes. You ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Ah, look at that. Is that just an eight? Yeah, it's an eight. Very nice. I gave it an it's eight. It's an eight with a smiley half. face. I see that it's a smiley it's face. It's a half it a second. So we both scored around eight. I gave it an eight and a half. It's a and happy eight. It's a happy eight. It's a very happy eight. I was eight. almost going to give it a nine. Were you? Yeah, I was almost. But you gave it an eight. I gave it an eight and a half. I, I felt that 2022 meant that I needed to be a little bit more, you know, a little I don't know more what rigid. What is that? More, oh, okay. So not giving so many unicorns not away? Not giving away things. So <laughs> I was trying to think the, the suckling way. Was that his name? Yeah, James Suckling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to say, well... It is a damn good wine. I don't think it has full fireworks. Mm. I think it has enough to like, it's like the starter ones. It's the starter fireworks. I you feel know? like, um, I feel like this one probably could, uh, could rest drink a little wine longer. Age a little bit longer. Social, for eating. For, I think that it could rest I think if we bring longer. this out, people will be pleased. Yeah. I think... They would not be disappointed with Dave Matthews. It could go from an eight to a nine. It really can. I think it just needs to age a little bit. More. I don't know about a ten exactly. Hmm. Maybe if it well, would have been a little bit more, and, and you know what? Here we go. 
here's on taste, right? If it would have been more on a sweeter side, because it was more on the watery side to me, it felt like watery. Does it not feel watery to you? Not at all. Mm -hmm. felt a little watery. To me, I it got too much It felt a little bit bitter. more, you know, I don't know. Can can wine be thicker? <laughs> Is that like a term? It's texture, so yeah. I don't know, but like, th I think not, you're not about the tannins, not actually. the not the texture, but like, I think you're talking richness, about richness, richness. Hmm. It could have been a little bit more richer, but then again, it didn't have the little. Okay, it didn't have the scale on this one. Yeah, I don't know where this one was at. It is, like I said, it teeters eight and nine. It teeters. It teeters. For me, I would have scored it higher, but I got so much like. Bitterness in my mouth um, when I paired it with what certain you, things. And you see, I, I feel like. But what are we judging on? Are we judging on pairing or are we judging it on actual wine? Like I said. Itself. Like I said, I got a lot of bitterness in the back of my mouth, which is, you know, I guess indication of a lot of tannins that probably just need to kind of like chill out for a little bit. So. There's your mustache. I think this one could be a better wine after a couple of years in the bottle. So I only learned that from James Suckling recently. Well, this is a 2020. So, so it's, it's, it still is. It's to it. It's, it's a year. Actually. It's a baby. It's still a baby. Yes. It's a very young wine. So if it's. I think a this one could age room, a little bit it further. Could, you know, it could age a little bit But it was 18 months before it went to the bottle. Yeah. So. It's actually about two and a half years old or so, right? Well, no, you consider it from like it's vintage, right? So it's only well, it's about a eighteen year. before it went in, eighteen no, months, yeah, eighteen months that. before it went that. in. As a year and six that. months, it's almost two that. years. You don't count that. You only count it from the vintage. So it's only a year old. You could only go by the vintage. So, okay, wait, wait, wait. So you mean that whenever this is a twenty twenty wine, is it at the end of the eighteen months? When they produce it? Yeah. Put it out? Yeah. Okay. When they release it? So technically, that wine didn't come from 2020. Technically, that wine came from like 2018. I think I'm confused about what you're saying. Because they harvest the grape and squash them in 2018 or somewhere on there. Yeah. It has aged for 18 months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it was from 2018. Yeah. That's when they did it. But it's however, my, my point is it's not you start at this. the no. you start yeah. at the year of the vintage on the bottle. And so right now it's only been a year, really. Because this is the beginning of twenty twenty two. So, you know, we still got a whole other the whole twenty twenty two ahead wow. of us. If you look at the technical thing, it's like two years two years, but it's not really you know, it's not no. quite year. It's not quite anyway. anyways. Anyways. So I think that this one is a little bit more bitter than I would, would like. I think if it aged in the bottle a little bit longer before we drank any more, then, well, I mean, before we open another one of those. You know what I mean? So just let that one age a little bit. And It's psychedelic, baby. Yeah, exactly. It's psychedelic, baby. Psychedelic. And I think it could taste better after a little bit of time. Just, you know, waiting. Waiting. Should we be looking for some more sounds this new year? We have mm. to find some new sounds. I think we should. I think that's always going to have idea. to like grab a hold of some new sounds. Um, here's one thing we got to talk about. Now we know that this one is an eight or an eight and a half. It's a pretty decent wine. It'll probably get better with time. Um, next week though, we are getting back to our splash wines that we kind of stopped in the middle of, uh, in the middle of last year. <laughs> so next month, if you want to see if you can find wait, wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you I'm doing? getting the thing so I can show the thing. What are you trying to do? I was going to show the thing for next week. Well, let me do that. I got that. Mr. Control Freak over here won't that. let me touch are you talking about? Thing. Are you talking about we are going to be splashing Splash. into the new year? Oh, I just put my fingers there. I feel like ghost. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't move it. Ugh. So this is Sashaya. This is their splash wine. It is. It was a Cabernet. Um, this is a South African wine that we're Twisty. still have in our um, splash wines collection. Did we give it a year? Did we give it a year in this one? I don't know. Look at see. 20, 2020. 2020. It's funny. Don't break the Dave Matthews band. It's funny. It's 2020 as well. Dave Matthews. We've had it. We've had it for like almost a year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So but we got good. it when it was basically almost new. So it's yeah. been aging in our room. Aging in the bedroom. <laughs> well, at least it's a nice, cool, dry place. 
as dry as we can get here. It's Florida for, you know, yeah. what it's worth. I mean, it's been inside of our air conditioning area. Yeah. Okay, you can turn that off now. Why? Shashaya. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like this. There you, you go. You can't see it right away. There it is. Sashaya. Another Sashaya. cab from South Africa. I'm always good for and that. And you know what? But here's the thing. Here's the thing that's kind of cool about that. It should have been, it should have been Dave Matthews had one from South Africa. Why? Because Jody. Because there. Because it grew up Because there. why? Because Dave Matthews is from where? He's from the United States, but he grew up in South Africa. Right, but he's mostly in... South Africa. Right. Oh, both. He's in both. But, but, but right, right? Half and half. He should have been making his wine from South Africa, well, right? Well, then let's see if the South African wine is better than the Chilean wine then. Maybe uh -huh. Sean McKenzie had something to say about that. I Who don't knows? know. Dave Who knows? is a little hard to go against, though. He, he I mean, is. is it hard to go against because you, you have a heart for, you know, you have like, you have like a heart. I mean, your heart right. You have a. Is it, am I even doing the heart right? Yeah, there you go. You are. Yeah. Do you have a heart for Dave Matthews? Yes, absolutely. So no matter what, it's hard for me to not give him a really high score. He could pee in a bottle. You would still like it. I probably would. <laughs> probably. Don't, don't drink peanut bottle. Don't drink it. It's not a great. Anyways, <laughs> uh, have some Dave Matthews instead. Yeah, just have some Dave Matthews Dream of Trees. All right, so let's just, let's just do something new. Do we recommend this wine, Jody? Uh, Do yes. we recommend Dave Matthews wine? Yes, absolutely. I, I agree. I give it a thumbs up thumbs as well. Up. Mm -hmm. I definitely. Do you know how much does actually one cost? You, you That's know? one thing I didn't talk about. I bought this bottle at the Walmart for like fourteen dollars. So totally worth fourteen, fifteen dollars. Go get you some. It's in the Walmart. Anybody can get this one. I'd buy that wine. Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it an everyday buy? It's an everyday uh, wine. Mm, nah, I think it's uh, something that you um, save for the weekends. For a heavier meal, maybe, or um, like when you're having dinner with your family. It's good for that. All right. Well, all right. All right. What about you? Um, I don't think it's an everyday wine. And why not? What would you do? What? I think, well, would you save it for? my frugalness is like $15 is not an everyday wine. <laughs> Um, fifty. Uh, this one would probably be more um the weekend wine. Weekend wine. I would call it the weekend, weekend wine. wine. It'd be the Friday wine. Friday night wine. Yay! Yeah. This would be we're the Friday the wine. We're drinking Dave Matthews right now. Oh, I didn't turn on my thing. This would be the Friday night wine. You want to do it on mine? Yeah. Make sure you turn it off when it's ready. Okay. <laughs> so, I just love that. It's so, <laughs> so that is the end of our. First end of our first 20, show of the 2022. 22. Yay! Who's our one that has back? Do you remember the name so we can get a shout out? Uh, choked. I did totally choke. Hold on. Let choked. me look. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Totally choked. On yes, that. we actually Sorry, had fan. somebody. I Sorry, know. fan out there. Oh my gosh! I know. Stop it. Come so. On. She just totally, just I totally lost it. messed that uh, one up. And we'll try and give it a shout out. All right, let's get some yeah, more shout outs. While she's looking that up, shout outs anyway. Matt, if you're watching or you're watching later, shout out or to Cheryl. Matt and Cheryl. Um, My mom and dad, healing. if you're out there, Thanks shout for out to you all. Thanks for watching us today. Any um, of our friends that we know and love out there. Oh, and on so top of that, we didn't even talk about uh, New Year's resolutions for this year. Oh, we did not. All right, so I am making, um, I think I, I, I agreed with one person um, who's mentioned this as a New Year's resolution. Oh, you haven't told me. Um, it's more or less like uh, more listening to people. Really rather than one. rather than talking over them. That's a really good one. Yeah. More just can we not just listen more and not have to have something to say about it. Yeah, with an agenda. Listening with yeah. out an just agenda. listening more. That's a good one. Just more hearing. Because we do a lot less hearing, I think, sometimes. Sometimes people just talk at each so other. So mm -hmm. people want to talk because they like to talk. I think that's a good New Year's resolution. Because it's good because it's 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 not like weight loss. 
right? Sometimes right. You just, you're just going to fall off the wagon weight loss. But this one, you can always practice throughout the whole year, no matter what. Yeah, and you can, if you You can tell yourself, wagon, I should listen more. You can just start right back up right where you are. Um, I like that. I think it's really a, a, a really good thing to focus on. Um, I think for me, my New Year's resolution in that vein is to um, be more present in the moment instead oh, of yeah. like we do way too much of this mm -hmm. and, and I really want to get away from that and just be here. Like I really enjoy doing this with you, Denny, because it's you and me doing this together and it doesn't have anything to do with us looking at our phones or looking at the TV. Spend every minute you have like it was the last. Yes. And I know that's a cliche, that's but think totally about cliche. it. I want you to think about this for a minute. Every millisecond that we're breathing, that is precious. You know, it's funny. You and I just watched this, um, like, things that were awesome about the 80s show. Like, yeah. It was a whole, like, series. Like, it was we need to do some six. themes. We need to well, do some theme shows. Oh, I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah. But the cool thing about, like, when, when he was talking about the 80s, it was Rob Lowe, and he was hosting this whole show about the things that were cool in the 80s. The thing that I was struck by, and you and I have talked about this before, um, during the 80s, we didn't have all of the distractions. We had to kind of create our own, our own stuff to, like, get us through each day and to get through the summers. And we were all, like, latchkey kids and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. we were kind of on our own. And um, had to kind of figure it out on our own. And, and I think that we as a generation kind of really benefited a lot from that. And mm. I think that getting back a little bit of that is probably going to be good for us and our kids and our, our grandkids probably too. Well, I, I would be one to say that in the later life of my life, and probably most people, is we have a lot more um, shiny new objects these days. That we did way man. back when we were growing up in the 80s. I know, we had to create our so distractions. So what happens is that nothing. we tend to fill our life mm. with things that are not exactly um, extremely important. Like mm -hmm. we forget what's really important about being humans with other humans, again. And like things that we want to like tell our kids that... The phone is not that important. <laughs> Although when we were kids, imagination our phone was just is different. awesome. Because, <laughs> and we just just right, you know pull the, the right. cord all the way to our room. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that a lot of times, don't be like. Um, a lot of times, what happens is people forget about life because they had their head in the phone. Well, for me, I and think it's going by. We've forgotten how to just sit in conversation, in quiet. No, in quiet. In we, quiet too. In I, solitude. And just think and get inside your head and just well, explore I'm, ideas in your head. Speaking of that, it's 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 uh, another thing that was brought up to me too was um, enjoying the art of silence. Yes, that is an that art. we don't have to always feel Our feel, kids don't know how feel to do that, that we have to fill, fill the, the void space. with something. Yeah. It doesn't have to be social media every minute. It doesn't have to be just because you're sitting anything. there with nothing sometimes, to do doesn't mean you have to pick. Something sometimes up. it's a moment like last night. I'm looking up in the sky and it was like, it was a rare moment where it was clear skies and I seen the actual stars again. Like I was looking at the oh, stars and I was looking at, nice. oh, hey, look, there is the Big Dipper and the small, you know, the Little Dipper, right? You know, Makes me miss and I'm thinking to myself class. like, that was a, <laughs> it, it was a moment where it was real. It wasn't on a phone. It wasn't digitized. Yeah, just it wasn't Netflix. It was... You were present in it that was moment. in the moment, right? You were just there in the moment, just so, experiencing it and taking it in. Be in that. I want to do that. Be in that. That's 2022 should be getting back to just being a pure human being, enjoying this planet while we have it. And this life. This, this life. We you are know? blessed to have this life, and we should just spend some more time enjoying it right. instead of and passing time wine. with... Our phones and yes, drinking wines, Denny. Drinking the wine. So we are at forty-five wine. minutes exactly on the moment. I know that this we kept you over a little show. longer because it was an extra long show because we yeah. just came back. Um, we wanted to like basically thank everybody for bringing us back because it wasn't without you. We probably would have said nah. 
But we said no. So much go on. So much go on. And we're going to continue this. We're going to do this every Saturday this as much makes as possible. Us, this makes us so happy to do this and to know that there are people out there that are watching and enjoying it too. It makes us feel really good. Did really you special. find our fan? No, I didn't. Oh. Fan, we Fan. will get the name to you. We will get the name next <laughs> There's week. There's a shout out coming. You're right. I promise. It was you. because of that fan that we said, let's do this. We got to do this this weekend. Let's all just right. start it back up. So For all the people out guys. there, keep drinking, keep living, and we love you. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. And with that, where's our out music, our outro, Denny? Do we have outro it's music? It's out though. Yeah, it's over here. It's the shorter one, remember? I can't remember if we had outro music. We is did. it the alternate drums? No, 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 it no, no. It's the, the same song. song. It's the same the song. song. Yes, it's the opening is song. Is it all See? it is? Yes. Is it all it is? Is it the opening song?